So you're making this game. Congratulations, by the way, you're a game developer now. And you're trying to figure out how to share it with people. What I'm going to be going over is how to export this game to WebGL and how to get this game onto itch.io, a free website where you can host your game for free and share it with other people. So in order to get started, I actually don't want to be in the editor right now. Instead, I want to go over to Unity Hub and I want to check to see the version of the game that I'm working on and if I have WebGL support already. And I want to install it. If not, here's how we can do this. So here's my project. I'm going to look at the editor version. Right now I'm on 2022.3.5 F1. Yours will probably be different though. And what I want to do is go over to the installs tab on the left. And I'm going to find the 2022.3.5 F1 right here. And I'm going to click on the cog at the right side of this and click Add Modules. This will give me a whole bunch of different build modules that I can use to build my game. If you're planning on building to mobile at any point in the future, you should probably have Android build support and iOS build support checked. Otherwise, definitely make sure that this WebGL build support is checked. That's what we're going to be going over this video. This allows you to play web games in your browser without having other people download the game at all. They can just open up the web page and play it right there. You're going to click on install and that'll kick you off. Now I'm going to go back over to the editor and in order to do this, in order to build the game, what we have to do is go up to file and then click build settings. And here we are. So the first thing that I want to pull your attention to is this scenes in build section at the top. You want to put all of your scenes into this. If you don't, then when Unity opens up that scene, it'll just crash because there won't be a scene for it to load. The idea is that if you have testing scenes, Unity doesn't want to load those in. Now, in order to put your scenes in here, what you can do is go over to your scenes folder in your project view and just drag and drop them over there. You can also open up the scene and click add open scenes right here. So that's step one. Next thing that we have to do is actually switch to WebGL. By default, you will be on Windows, Mac, and Linux, but what you should do is switch to WebGL by clicking on WebGL and then down here, there will be a switch to platform button. Right now I'm already switched over, but on your side, you should see that. And it'll take a few minutes to switch over to WebGL. By default, Unity tries to build everything to optimize it for a Windows executable build, but you want to optimize it for WebGL. Now this isn't something that you're going to dedicate your project to. You can always switch back anytime at no cost at all. The next thing that you should do is click on player settings. We have to make a few configuration changes before we're actually ready to build to WebGL. So when you open up player settings, the very first thing that you want to set is these things at the very top. At the very top will be your company name. Now, if you aren't part of a company, that's okay. I recommend just putting in your name. You can also put in whatever else there if you don't want to put your name in here. You also want to put in your product name, your game name. I'm not going to call this Mario. I'll, I'll call it, I don't know, Nario. That sounds great to me. Also check out the version number. Most likely you'll just keep it at 1.0, but every time you build your game, you should have an habit of incrementing this. So 1.1, 1 1.2, etc. This is the very first build though, so I'm gonna keep it at 1.0. All right, now we want to go down to this section and we want to make sure that we have the WebGL settings checked specifically. That way these settings actually apply to the build that we're about to make. Very first thing that I'm going to do is go down to resolution and presentation down here. And here we have a few options. These are going to be used when Unity actually displays the game inside of the web browser, the default width and height. I usually like to set this to a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is usually what you build your game for. So what I'm going to do is type in 1920p by 1080. Now you don't actually want the game to be rendered that big because this is on a web page and the game won't be maximized by default. So instead it's usually a good habit to just like divide by two or something like that. This is usually the setting that I have. I take the entire resolution that I'm going for and I just divide by two. There's also a section here for WebGL template. We don't want to touch that. A lot of people will touch minimal or PWA. In my experience, they just don't really work. I just click default and that seems to work just fine all the time. Unfortunately, itch.io does have a few issues with some of the ways you can set up Unity. Uh, for example, if you change no other settings and just publish the game as is, you'll actually get a lot of red errors and the game won't launch at all. Uh, and that's because we have two more things that we have to change. And that's here in the publishing settings. 
So here we have a few advanced settings that we want to mess around with. The compression format in particular, we have to change. We have to change this from broadly to disabled. And we also have to disable data caching. For whatever reason, itch.io does, does not play well with these settings. Uh, so you have to turn these off in order for your Unity game to work just fine on WebGL. Once you disable these, your game will run buttery smooth. And that's all of the settings that we have to change. You can poke around at other things if you like, uh, but you'll find that these settings will work just fine for you. So if I click on the X on here, the only thing left for you to do is click on Build. This is going to come up with a dialogue for you to save your game somewhere. I personally recommend going to your desktop and building it here. What I'm going to do is right click here, go down to New, click Folder. I'm going to call this build. The name doesn't matter, but the idea is that I'm going to build this to a folder on my desktop. And then once I'm done with the build, I'll just delete it because I can play it online if I want to, or even in engine. So now that I've done this, I'm just going to click select folder and the build will have started. Now this could take a long time for you. It could take 30 minutes. Even it could take two minutes. It really depends on the size of your game and the power of your computer. Now, once that is done, it will open up your file explorer or finder if you're on Mac, and you'll be able to see that the build folder is right here. And here's all the files that you need. Now, what you want to do is select all of these, and we're going to zip it up into a format that we can actually host on the web. So I'm going to select all of these and then right click any one of them. Now on Windows 10, you can compress these into a zip folder by clicking send to compressed zip folder. I believe on Windows 11, there's an option to just compress it directly. And I have no idea what you do on Mac. I'm sorry, you can probably figure it out by clicking a few buttons though. I'm gonna give this a name. I'm gonna call it Nario Web GL V1, V1. There we go. And now this is ready to go on itch.io. We are done in Unity, that's awesome. Itch.io is a free website for you to host your games on. You can upload your game for free and other people can find it and play it. And you can also just send your game to other people for them to play. So here's what we're going to do. At the very top right on this drop down area, once you log in anyways, you want to click on this and then click upload new project. This is where the magic happens. Once this loads, what you want to type in is the name for your game. I'm going to type in Nario. You can change the project URL if you want, and you have a whole bunch of options here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but here are the ones that you actually need in order to put the WebGL build out there. Very first thing that you want to do is click kind of project. By default, it's set to downloadable, so they can just download a file, but instead we want to change this to HTML. We're going to click on that, and that will allow our WebGL build to play on HIO. We also have this pricing section. If you don't have a payment platform set up, then that's okay. You can just click no payments and that will be just fine. Now here's the uploads section. This is where we're actually going to put in our zip folder. So I'm gonna click on upload files. And as soon as this opens up, I'm gonna find that zip folder. All right, I'm gonna click on build. And here's the zip folder that we just made. Nario WebGL V1, double click on that to upload it. And when this is done uploading, we'll have a few options. The very first one is the most important. So long as we have HTML kind of projects selected, then we want to make sure that this checkbox, this file will be played in the browser, is checked. We don't have to touch anything else. All right. Now we also want to mess around with these embed options. So here we have embedded in so here we have embed in page. We want to keep that as is. And here we also want to keep manually set size as is. There is this option for auto detect size, but it does not work anymore. It used to work in the past, just not anymore. So you want to click manually set size. Now here's also the viewport dimensions. These are the same settings that we did in Unity. So if I go back over to my player settings, and under resolution and presentation, we'll see this default canvas width and default canvas height. We want to just copy paste this over there. So I'm going to copy paste this 960 into here. I'm going to copy paste this 540 into here, except this Unity template, this default template, it will add a 40 pixel tall banner at the very bottom of the screen. So what we want to do in itch.io, here we have set 540, but since the bottom of the banner is 40 pixels in itself, we also want to add 40 pixels to this. So instead of 540, I'm going to do 580. Now all of these settings, we don't want to touch any of these. We can just keep them as is. 
and past that we are good to go. We just want to click Save and View Page. This won't publish the page, this will just put it into a draft form for you to experiment with it and make sure that everything is working. And if I click on Run Game, then Unity will take a moment to load and we will be good to play this game. So here we can see I'm playing now, I can jump, I can do all that stuff that I could in Unity. It works just great. Now we could leave it at that, but there's actually a few more settings that we could change if we want to. Namely, we could go back to Edit Game and change it so that the description is a little bit more descriptive. I'm going to type in, this is a game about jumping and collecting coins, just as an example. You can also put in a credit section in case you have any art assets that you have. So in my case, I'm going to say Art Nintendo, let's say, I don't know, up to you. I'm going to change that header, let's say, I don't know. Another thing that you can do after you hit Save and click View Page, you can go up to Edit Theme here at the top, and you can change different colors and images in your game page itself. So I could, for example, change the font of this page to be a little bit more retro, which is kind of what I'm going for. Lastly, whenever you want to publish this game and share it with people, you can't just give them this link. It won't work. So what you have to do is click on Edit Game, and at the very bottom, you'll see the section Visibility and Access. In order to publish your game, you want to click on this Public button. You can configure some settings here so you can hide it from the search in HIO, for instance, but besides that, you're good. Hit Public, click Save, and your game is out there, and you can share it with all of your friends and people that you might not even know. Again, you might be thinking that this game just, it's not done yet. I just, it's, I want to make it out there when it's 90% done, and this is hardly even 10% done. See, there's not even a game over screen. There's no title screen or anything like that, polish, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, don't worry about that. Done is beautiful. Just put your game out there. You'll be able to play test it with other people. You'll be able to see other people play your game. It's actually really, really fun. So I recommend putting it out there and sharing it with your friends. That way it's just not sitting on your computer all lonely all the time.